I'm Percy, and I'm sitting here with Young Hollywood at the park in Santa Monica. We're about to play a fun little game. What's up, Young Hollywood? Today we are with a very special guest. Hello, Percy. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How, how's, how are you? I'm so great. So if you guys have watched Wednesday on Netflix, you all know Percy. Some very recognizable face. <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to be playing the sketch game. So I haven't told you anything that we're really doing. Mm -hmm. So, but in the show, yeah. Xavier, he can really draw. He can sketch. He's really good. Yeah, artist. he can do painting and charcoal and everything, and then make it come to life. What about Percy? What can Percy do with the markers? Percy can't really do that, unfortunately. Um, not gonna be able to make these come to life. Um, really bad at drawing, despite all the drawing lessons that they gave me. It never really worked. So we'll see how this turns out. So it's going to be even more fun. Because you can't draw. <laughs> okay, so we have a list of things, or not a list, but we have a bunch of different things you have to draw. Oh my so God. you're going to pick one up, hand it to me. I'm going to read off what you have to draw, okay? Oh, okay. And you have 30 seconds to Each do one? your best. Yeah. What? I don't know if we'll get through all of them, but all of them are great, okay. and you're going to have 30 seconds or less. Okay. So I'm if it look. turns out horrible, it turns out horrible. If it's great, then it's great, but 30 seconds. Okay. Okay? I'm ready. And then afterwards, we'll ask you a couple questions about the show because everybody wants to know everything. Okay. So we're going to find everything out. Okay? Sounds good. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Do you have your eye on one of them? Okay. The, <laughs> okay. God. First one's first. You have 30 seconds to draw the monster from Wednesday. Ready? Go. I cheated. I started too soon. Uh. We, he's disqualified, but he must continue. He must continue. Okay. Keep going. I'll count you down when there's five seconds left. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. It's kind of like this. He's got this sort of um, big eyes here. Ready? And five. No. Four. Three. Okay. No. no. Two. Ah. One. Stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he looks fantastic. But that's actually really good for <laughs> someone that can't draw. Oh my God. I love this little hair situation, the eyes. I think you nailed the eyes. <laughs> yeah, the eyes are what makes him very uh, Tim Burton. -y. What would you rate it? Uh, this? Yeah, your job here. Two out of ten. <laughs> okay, so you've had a lot of scenes with Jenna Ortega in the show Wednesday. Mm -hmm. In between scenes shooting, when you were having conversations in the rain, you had the umbrella, did you ever see her blink? Yeah. Dude, she had so, I mean, <laughs> that wasn't going to be a thing, but then the first, like, take that they did, she didn't blink throughout it, and then Tim Burton saw that, and he was like, hey, I like that you're not blinking. Keep it up. And she was like, ah. So then she just had to, like, never blink. Start the whole thing. Yeah, but we would have, like, staring contests and stuff. Did you ever win? No, of course not. Jenna takes the lead in the staring contest. Mm -hmm. Do you think that you would want to play Wednesday? Uh... Her character? I don't think I could do the character justice. I think, um, I think it would cause a bit of an uproar. Uh, and also, I think that she killed it so much so that I don't think that that's her role now. That's just like that's. She her. is Wednesday. Yeah, dude. Okay, and for Xavier, when you read the script through, once you got the part, were you excited about his character? Like, did you think of things you wanted to put a twist on? Yeah. I was like, well, I thought he was the monster at first, because I, I didn't yeah. read the last um, like couple episodes until we were already shooting, so I didn't know, and like nobody knew, and I was really excited um, to like learn how to you know shoot the bow and arrow and do the, all the drawing and stuff, and yeah, I just I don't know. I thought he was very like uh, he's very much like me, just like dramatic, and yeah, nerdy. Love that. <laughs> okay, are you eyeing another one? Let's see. Let's see. Yourself. <laughs> okay, ready? You have 30 seconds to do your best drawing of yourself. Okay. Ready? Oh my god. Three, two, one. <laughs> this is gonna be the most. <laughs> oh my god, dude, this is horrendous. It's kind of accurate. <laughs> got my <laughs> weird acne, and now we're going to do... Ready? Five, four, three, two, 
Okay. Come on. And there he is. <laughs> He's a magic man. Look at you. Okay, hold it up. I'll compare it to yourself. Percy. Cheese. Look how cute. <laughs> 30 seconds is not enough time. <laughs> we will not be extending the rules. I'm going to rate this one. One, one out, out of ten. ten. Yeah. He's not as attractive as the monster, I feel like. There's a monster. Monster. That's and me. you. <laughs> You're mean mugging, kind of. You're kind of frowning there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, we kind of talked about this before the interview started, but social media. Your insane blow up over a couple nights. So, how has life been on your Instagram account? It's just normal. I mean, I don't know. I just find it all funny. It's not really like... I feel like Instagram is so, it's just so not real. Like it's, yeah. it's all just like, I don't know, little numbers. And that's the thing is like, you'll see no matter how many followers you get, there can always be more. So there's never any like feeling of satisfaction. So like followers don't matter. They're yeah. just, I don't know. It's, it's been very normal. I've been just like joining random group chats that people add me to. And I don't know, it's, it's funny. So yeah. What do you remember going to bed with before the show came out? And then what do you remember waking up with after the first day? I think I was, I think I said, why? Well, I, I went to sleep um, and then I woke up the next day and I had gained like 30,000 followers. And then every day since then it's been like 100,000. I don't know. It's, uh, it's weird. What's the craziest DM you've got so far? <laughs> Oh man. Either humor or hitting on you. What has been the craziest when you're just like out of pocket? Super out of pocket was uh, somebody DM my mom and said, tell Percy to check his DM, it's urgent. And then I was like, what's the name? And then I went and searched and I checked the DM and it just said, can I slurp you up? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you have to DM my mom for this? <laughs> Lee, she didn't DM your mom. Yeah, <laughs> and I know. be like, oh, what did it say? Like, <laughs> this is what I'm trying to send to him. <laughs> you could have your son check this message. This is what I want from him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. DMs are really weird. But I love joining the group chats of, like, all the fans, like, of the show or whatever. Yeah. And I'm just, I'll just be like, what's up? And they'll be and like, oh, my God. <laughs> you answered our DM. You saw it. <laughs> uh, well, send them a picture of this. Be like, I'm here, babes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pick your next one. Let's see which one you want now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> A tattoo for Jenna. A tattoo that you would draw for Jenna that Jenna would have to tattoo on her body. Oh my god. We actually tried to come up with one, but it was so hard and indecisive. We all wanted to get one out in Romania. Yeah. Like a matching one, but it was like really hard to pick. That's a tough one, dude. Um, I'm gonna have to make it something stupid. You guys didn't end up getting them though. No, we never did. We should talk about it. Maybe you'll get them one day. You never know. Maybe. Okay, do you have an idea? I think I do. You ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, go. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is horrific. <laughs> well, just know she's getting it tattooed on her. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. This is called the Bonzo Dog, which is my nickname for her. Um, after a band that we listened to when we first got to Romania called the Bonzo Dog Doodah Band. What, so, what a band name. Yeah, so this guy... Oh, stop! I was listening to your dogs. story and forgot. Okay, that's him. That's a really, that's such a really... Cute dog. That's a really ugly tattoo. Cute <laughs> dog, very horrific Imagine tattoo. just like right here under her forearm. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that dog. No, it'd be a good tramp stamp. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Wait, so how close would you say that you and Jenna and the rest of the cast, Emma, everyone got? Dude, that's like, I've never worked with a cast before. Oh, I've never worked with a cast before who's been so like, like usually you go and you work on a show and everyone's just kind of coworkers and like yeah. not really friends, like, you know, hanging out outside of work. But like, we all still hang out and we're all just like really tight. And we're in group chats and it's just like, I don't know. I, I am very appreciative for all those guys because I wouldn't have been able to make it through, you know, shooting in Romania without them. And I don't know, it's just like, it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. 
And you're in LA now, but you live in Toronto. Mm -hmm. So when you're in LA, are they in LA too, or are they all over? Sometimes. Um, Hunter lives here. I went out for um, Korean barbecue with him yesterday. And Emma's shooting a movie here. Joy comes down here sometimes. Um, We're interviewing Joy on Friday. Yeah? Yeah, but on Zoom, because she's in the city. Near yeah, 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 yeah. She and uh, I think Jenna lives here, but she's never home. She's all over the she, world. I think she's just in Brazil doing press. She's in so Brazil yeah, right now. She's all over the it's place. It's crazy. Wednesday is very, very high demand right now. <laughs> okay, ready for your next one? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're going to do, you're, you're going to sign all these at the end. Really? Yeah, because oh we're going to give them to your fans. <laughs> that girl that DM'd you. No. <laughs> we're giving her the self-portrait immediately. Okay, pick the one you want. I'm trying to think what they say. I want a good one. He cheats. Just know that. The moon and the stars. That one's too easy. Okay, Anyone fine. Can draw you can that. skip. We'll give you okay. an allowance to skip. What did I write? Oh, your favorite thing you own. Favorite thing I own. Wait. Favorite I, thing you own. Let me think. Own. Let me think. Let me think. Mm. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. Ready? Mhm. Mm Three, two, one, go. Oh, this is already terrible. <laughs> is the favorite thing you own actually green? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and it Could also, never guess what that is. It also has one red door here. All right. And it is... Oh my God, I need the wheels. People better start commenting when you guess when they're watching this. This is my van that my grandpa gave me and my mom. And I drive it everywhere and it's a hunk of junk and it's really loud. And uh, it's a Volkswagen 92 Euro van, and I love it. Um, yeah, and I've crashed it before, and I drove across America in it, and it's uh, my favorite possession. That is it. That's that's your van. My van. You have a green van. It's called the rocket ship. <laughs> you named it. Yeah. The rocket ship. It took you across the country. Mm-hmm. What was your favorite destination? Where oh, you man. Go? Where you love? So we went down to Austin, Texas for a music festival. Oh, I love Austin. It was the best. And then we drove over to California, like through um, Nevada and all that stuff. And yeah. we saw, I think my favorite place was probably the White Sands of New Mexico, which is just like this like endless sand dunes. And it was, that was really fun. Okay, so kind of recap your year. The last year of your life, what have you done? Oh. Because you said it was a pretty hectic one. It what was did crazy. What did this year look like? Um, I was in Romania. I okay. Well, I started off in Toronto for Christmas break. I got my wisdom teeth out. Um, I finished up in Romania for three months, and then I was in Toronto for a month, and then I drove across America in the van over May, and I spent June and July um, here in America, and I got a concussion on the Fourth of July. Uh, what did you do? I was on a bird scooter, and I was very <laughs> intoxicated, and I. And I woke up in the hospital, and then... Uh, I don't remember how you got there. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, and then August and September, I was filming a movie in Muskoka, in Ontario, like a rom-com. And then in October, I did a bunch of press for the show, and I was in Mexico and Nashville and New York. And um, then I started doing another movie in Utah, and yeah, now I'm here in L.A. Crazy, crazy year for you. It's crazy. It's been crazy. Has more happened in this last year than any other year? 100%. Yeah. It's like nonstop stuff. It's really, it's really, it's a good distraction. What was your favorite part? Favorite part was probably um, getting home after Romania. Yeah. was just like, oh, I had the best April. It was just like, saw everybody and just did everything. Yeah. It was fun. Okay, and you filmed a rom-com, but we have a question related to the show that is kind of rom-com. So... Would you want to see, do you know if there's a season two yet? Nope. Okay, so you don't know. Do you, would you want to see in season two, potentially, Xavier and Wednesday have some kind of romance? I think she's above romance, dude. If, I, if she's going to be romantic with anybody, it's got to be Enid. Yeah. That's, that's all I'm thinking. But I think, at the end of the day, I think she's above it. After especially the fiasco of kissing a monster serial killer. Imagine. Okay. Yeah, man. Ready for your next one? Oh my god, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Do you like it? Favorite article of clothing you own? You've been kind of good at drawing the entire time. I can't do my hat because I already drew that on me. 
So you can pick a new one. Mm, okay, I'm gonna pick a new one. There's gotta be some. I think there's definitely hard ones in there. Oh, last thing I ate. <laughs> last thing I eat. Okay. <laughs> last thing I ate. Last thing you ate. Ready? This is easy. Three, two, one, go. This is too easy. It is a blueberry muffin, and it was really good and crumbly, and I eat blueberry muffins all the time. Is that your favorite food? No, I kind of, I'm not really a breakfast guy, so I start off with something easy. <laughs> Which is the blueberry muffin. Yeah, and add all the details here. <laughs> all the crumbs. <laughs> on the floor, a little bit on the floor. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that does not look like a blueberry muffin. <laughs> that looks so messed up. It looks like a... It looks like, like a, a <laughs> science experiment. I would say a planet. Like yeah. <laughs> the craters, the craters of the blueberries. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do another one. <laughs> okay. All right. Pick which one. Okay. That was the wrong one. Werewolf. Werewolf. That's a good one. Okay, that's a hard one. That is hard. I don't even know where to start. What part? <sighs> what color is it? Brown or black? Oh, gray. Oh, gray. Gray. Gray's a good one. Yeah, so. Okay, ready? I'll start the timer. I cheated. You did cheat. You've cheated sorry. three times, but. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, oh my god, this is terrible. I've got to do it like um, like Enid's werewolf with yeah. the uh, rainbow hair. Oh my gosh. We'll add the nails. We'll add the hair. <laughs> this is so bad. Wait, you had drawing lessons though? <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> like you can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> I had so many. I was picking up on it. I, guess I really was. <laughs> it's the tail. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god, that's crazy. Okay, wait. Oh, I love the, le the calves on this thing are... <laughs> <laughs> these red eyes, <laughs> and then I'm gonna do something crazy. Be crazy here. <laughs> Watch this. He gets. He's creative. I picked up. You're creative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this is Wednesday Wolf. <laughs> yeah. This is Enid here. <laughs> Enid, back. care to care to comment on this <laughs> situation? We'll call it. Okay, there you go, Rainbow Werewolf. Yay, Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> it was Werewolf, but he decided Rainbow Werewolf, so he put his own little twist on it. Yeah, <laughs> what was the hardest scene to film for you? Um, and did you like having the paint blood all over you all the time? That was fun. That was really cold. Everyone, I, I didn't mind that, though. Um, I don't know, the hardest scene to film, um, I always just say, like, it was difficult to like sort of suspend your disbelief or I don't know if I'm using that phrase correctly but when you're acting like with fantasy elements um, sometimes and you have to like keep it grounded and natural and then you're talking about like a monster or like the crypt of Joseph Crackstone or whatever it's like that, that's kind of difficult acting wise but like um, in terms of like actually physically hard to, to film I would say um, Probably the rowing um, was difficult and cold, and I was in a clown costume. <laughs> we <laughs> love the clown costume. <laughs> so that was maybe that was maybe a challenge, or like archery. I'm terrible at archery, um, but honestly, yeah, I think I think physically, like we had to train and like learn how to like row a boat as a team for like a month to do that scene. So. You trained for that for a month. Mm -hmm. Like rowing, waking up like every day at 6 a.m. and going out to a lake. Uh, and, and rowing? Yeah. It was crazy. What else did you have to learn? Okay, drawing lessons, learn to row a boat as a team. Drawing, fencing, archery, rowing, um, dancing. And did you know this prior to going to Romania that you were going to have to do all this? Or when you got there, you kind of learned that you guys were going to be do, doing lessons and stuff? We knew because, like, they said you have to come out early to, like, learn everything. And we were like, oh, my God. <laughs> and, yeah. No, it was fun, though. Oh, and, like, stunts. Yeah. Just general stunts. What are you the best at? Um, I don't. Not think drawing. I don't. Yeah, <laughs> not drawing. I really don't think. 
I mean, maybe the rowing. I, I feel like I got the hang of it, you know? Yeah. Depends on the teammates, too. Me and Georgie, we're a good team. Chef's guess. Perfect. <laughs> There it is. All right. Wait, get your phone. Okay. Yep, get your phone. Okay. Now, you have to show us a picture in your camera roll that you have not posted on social media yet from filming. <sighs> Sorry. Don't make the rules once again. Oh, my gosh. Just enforce them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, I have a folder called Clown Picks. Great. Um. <laughs> That's a very important fol to folder to have, though, because you were a clown for probably hours on end, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, you can be a meme too. You know how like there's memes on TikTok where it's like me like sending her like a double text or something, <laughs> and then it's just okay. a clown. Yeah. <laughs> Make yourself a meme. I, I will. <laughs> this is a picture of my lover. His name is Georgie, and he's here pictured with a uh, ladybug, which this is the day that we learned how to say ladybug in Romanian. Um, how do you say it? You say it like buburuza. So. If you ever wanted to know how to say ladybug in Romanian, it's buburuza. And that's farmer with a buburuza. <laughs> there you go. Exclusive. That's a Young Hollywood exclusive. <laughs> okay. Hey. We'll do one more. I'm going to show you them all so you can pick which one you want. For the last one. Yeah. This is great. So you have a choice. <sighs> hmm. You don't like moon stars. Okay. Favorite city? It would be hard to draw a city. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the Nevermore uniform. There you go. That's classic. That's easy. The Nevermore uniform. Do you get to keep any of the clothes? Um, no. <laughs> I got, although they sent me some stuff afterwards. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Ready. <laughs> Going to start it. We'll see how you do. Um, my first Zoom meeting with Colleen Atwood, who designed the wardrobe for the show, I yeah. slept through it. I missed it. And <laughs> she is one of the most legendary costume designers ever. And I just slept through the interview. Um, just slept right through it. Yeah, so that was cool. And uh, I think she hates me now. <laughs> At least you called her legendary. If she sees this, just know. She is legendary. Okay, I want extra time on this. Okay. I demand it. <laughs> okay, you make the rules now. Because she <laughs> deserves it. Okay, ready? So this is the hood. I'm going to draw, I think I'm going to draw Georgie um, with his little beanie. Um, no snakes? No snakes. He needs to hide them. Hide them, yeah. Okay. And there's the hoodie strings. Okay, we've got the black pants here. Would okay. you ever be yourself for Halloween next year? Would I be Xavier? Or, yeah. Um, I, I would, yeah, you know what, I would. It would be cool to be Tyler as well, to be the monster. <gasps> Maybe I'm not supposed to say that. Do you want there to be season two? Of course. I would like a job. And Where <laughs> would you want to film it? What country, what place? Where I would think you want to do it next? <laughs> I would, well, I would actually love a season two because I would love to work with all those guys again. Yeah. I think they're so fun to work with. I think you're going to get it. I'm just like a wild, rough guess, but. All right, this is the Nevermore uniform. It's very rough, but this is what it looks like. It looks so good. Purple and black. There you go. Um, yeah, I don't know where they, I think they're talking about um, filming it a little closer to home. So either, I mean, if, it, it, if. if if they were to film it, they want it to be either in Atlanta, which is Emma's town, yep. um, London, which is Georgie's town, and Tim's, or um, Toronto, which is my town. So someone, we're going home to some someone's Re home. <laughs> exactly. Someone's home. <laughs> Regardless, it would be it would be a good time. Okay, I'm gonna give him shades. I say, oh, and rate it. Do a little rating down here. I'm gonna rate, I'm gonna give this a high. Let's Maybe. see that. I think it's Emmy. Is it Emmys that are, have the statue? <laughs> yeah, like, or like Oscars. Or Oscars. There you go. Seven. Seven out of ten. A little bit more effort this time, but still pretty bad. You love it. Did you like the game? That was a great game. That was a great. That was like another drawing lesson. Pretend we're in Romania. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I would need a translator, though. 
my drawing teacher was Romanian, and so I had. Did to you pick up any? Like, did you learn no, a little? I even a little bit besides like Ladybug. <laughs> yeah, Bubaruta. I learned um, Multamesk, which is thank you. I learned Jeface, which is how are you, and I learned all the swear words. <laughs> of course, priorities. <Yeah>. Priorities. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. There you go. Well, thank you so much for coming on Young Hollywood. Thank you for having me. This was a great interview. I Such a star. And you killed it. You, you really killed it on Wednesday. Like, thank you. Unreal. You did great. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right. So we're finished with the sketch game. I had a good time. I don't know about you guys, but yeah. Um, I'm Percy. You can follow me on Instagram or whatever. It's just Percy. And you can watch Wednesday on Netflix today.